bastards. <laughs> Holy crap. Today I'm going to give Steven a shiny new desk makeover. Steven is the video production coordinator here at BuzzFeed New York, which makes him a very, very busy guy. So I thought I would treat him to a brand new creative space where he can sit back and relax for at least five seconds before he runs off to do whatever it is production coordinators here at BuzzFeed do. I thought it would be fun to surprise Steven with this desk instead of telling him ahead of time, because I think he could use a little excitement in his very, very busy work day. In order to do that, I'm going to take a jolly walk around the office and I'm going to ask everyone I see what they think of Steven and his personality and what kind of workspace they think he needs. Let's go! Steven is definitely a smart, casual kind of guy. He wears a lot of gray and khakis and blacks and whites. Very minimalistic. This token gray sweater that he wears every day. Gray sweater. Gray. Gray shirt. The man who enjoys a drink. <laughs> he is a man who likes his tequila. A lot. We're also going to take a look at his Instagram because I think that can really tell you a lot about his style and his personality. He has a lot of photos with friends, you can see that he loves going out, loves hanging out with people, and in every single photo he's wearing a grey sweater. Steven, I would love to see your wardrobe. Seriously, everything is black and grey. Alright, so we've gathered our info and it's time to dive in. Right now Steven's desk is kinda bland. There's not a lot going on, not a lot of personality, and overall pretty messy. Steven, you a slob. He has a lot of paperwork and a lot of files spread all over his desk, which really doesn't leave a lot of room for fun or anything at all. Since the majority of your day is spent at work, you want your environment to feel welcoming and comfortable and relaxing. You want it to be practical but also homey, and right now I'm not really getting either of those vibes from Steven's desk. So because he needs to do so many jobs and manage so many things at one time, but still keep a stress-free environment, I think we're gonna need to put the fun in functional. Huh? Huh? The best way to do a desk makeover is to just take everything away and start from scratch. So here, we have a blank desk. We'll start with the obvious necessities like a monitor and a laptop. I'm putting the monitor right in the middle so it's comfortably at eye level, and I'm propping up the laptop so he isn't craning his neck every time he needs to look down at the screen. Next, let's tackle the stuff that takes up most of the space on his desk, paperwork. Seriously, who has this much paperwork? What do you even do here, Steven? Since his style is quite minimalist with a very neutral monochrome color palette, wow, I sound like a pretentious wine drinker or something, I got him this clear hanging file holder with black hanging file folders. If you need something large that isn't very pretty, like files, then get them in a clear box. Making things clear creates the illusion that it's not taking up as much space as it actually is. I'm also taking a ton of files that he has on his desk and filing them away into these drawers. When you're going for a minimalist style, the idea is to have nothing on your desk that you do not absolutely need to be there, aside from a few decorations here and there because otherwise your desk would be a bore fest. So we're gonna take all this clutter and we're gonna just get rid of it. I'm just kidding, I need these. Oh boy. Wires. There is nothing I hate more than wires. It's 2017. Shouldn't everything be wireless at this point? Why is this still a thing? To tame this obnoxious mane of wires, I got these little tiny wire holder thingies that we're gonna stick on the desk. They come in all sorts of colors, but I got them in black to match my soul. I'm just kidding, but it does go with the color palette. I'm also adding this black and white marble mouse pad to add a bit of fun without adding any blast of color. This concrete tape dispenser is super masculine and adds a great texture to the desk. And this clear stapler doesn't add too much space, but it does add a nice Nice touch of gold. I'm also replacing his cluttered mug filled with pens with this nice, neat, wooden desk organizer. It adds a soft pop of color and I'm only adding a few pens and a pair of white stainless steel scissors because you don't need all those pens on your desk. Throw away all your pens! Half of them probably don't even work. Since this desk is very monochrome and very neutral, I'm adding a few pieces of greenery to brighten it up a bit. This makes it feel very homey and very welcoming, and because Steven is such a busy guy, I made sure to get fake plants because God knows he has no time to water them. Plus, when you're in an office, it can be kind of dark and you can't get the sunlight that your plants need. I'm giving him a very simple journal to plan out his year and write any notes that he needs. I'm also giving him a very simple weekly planner that can sit right on his desk to keep track of the millions of meetings and tasks he has throughout the week. I'm also adding this really industrial looking white desk lamp, not really because we lack proper lighting in this office, but because it looks really cool. Since we found on his Instagram that Steven loves to take pictures with him and his friends, I printed out this photo from his Instagram and it'll sit nicely on his desk and add some personality and some positive vibes. I'm also giving him this simple black and white framed photograph of New York City to sit on his desk for inspiration and for some art. I want to add a gray seat cushion to his desk chair to add some extra comfort since he is sitting there all day, at least when he's not running around like a crazy person, as well as a fuzzy gray throw for some texture. Because it's soft and it's squishy and treat yourself. 
it's so soft. I also took this adorable little elephant trinket that he had on his desk before because it adds a nice touch of personality and conveniently matches the wooden pen organizer that I got him. It's all about color coordination. And last, oh, oh, what's this? What's in this drawer down here? Is that bourbon? As we all know, Steven is a very busy man who enjoys a drink. So I got him a drink. Not that we ever drink on the job here. What kind of place do you think this is? Man, I'm jealous. I wish this was my desk. Just saying. All right, so here is the finished desk. I think it is really improved. It is totally reminiscent of his style and his personality. It's smart, it's cozy, it's practical. I think he's really gonna love it. So let's blue skidoo on over there and show it to him. You <laughs> bastards. <laughs> Holy crap. I get to keep this stuff? Yeah, sure. sure. <laughs> And I have a lamb. Always wanted a lamb. <laughs> this is beautiful. Steven, I want you to open your bottom drawer. There we go. Oh my god, now I'm scared. <laughs> Shut up. <No. laughs> what? What are you trying to say about me? This does not bode well for me as an employee. It's so fancy. I'm just gonna be sitting here wrapped in my blanket, <laughs> sitting on my grand <laughs> pillow. Do you want to have a celebratory glass of bourbon? Yes. Thank you. You are so welcome. Look at my mouse pad. <laughs> They're not real because I feel like you have a problem. Oh no, like, yeah. <laughs> are you seeing my butt? Yes. Yeah. They're all dead. This is like nicer okay. than anything I have at so my so place. Awesome. Look at what she did to my desk. Look at my chair. Well, look at what? my... It'll be nice to not look across and to see piles of garbage. Excuse me. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna look like I'm from the Game of Thrones all day. <laughs> Winter is coming. <laughs>